how does my media product represent particular social groups? Um, it looks like you've taken like a feminist sort of approach to it because it's quite a lot of female. Yeah, um, most of pictures. the pictures are girls. Yeah, and um, you sorry, okay. yeah. but then you've got like the red and the blue and the orange, and they're sort of quite eye-catching colours. Yeah, the colours aren't particularly female. And yeah. neither is the font. Like, most of the fonts are quite interesting, but still neutral. Like, they're not curly for girls or, like, jagged for guys, I guess. They're quite neutral. But it's just the pictures seem to be mostly female-based, possibly. Young people, for young people, as yeah. opposed to, like, a wider age group, I guess. Because of, like, the things... Yeah, again, the people pictured are younger people and it's sort of quite out there and fashionable rather than sort of classical, I guess. Yeah. What media institutions would distribute my product and why? I think that it would be good as a start-off to go free and put it in newspapers or... Yeah, to get a name for itself. Get, yeah, and then once it's got more popular then you can start selling them, selling them yeah, yeah in all like music tattoo. stores yeah possibly base it i think shops like hmv or things like that because they do quite a lot of music products but they do a range of products as well so it wouldn't be sort of rare to have a magazine in there i guess you could also sell it to like news not newspapers um supermarkets because they've got all the like you know the giant magazine yeah. racks of, uh, yeah, They've got the most variety, so it would definitely fit in somewhere. And a wide audience as well, that go in and use them. So. And then I guess there's always the possibility of it being digital as well, because with the format of it, it's probably easy enough to read on something that's digital, because obviously it's laid out quite... Uh, I don't know, it's not too cluttered, I guess. <laughs> and I think digitally it will appeal to the audience that the magazine appeals to, so it will reach them quicker because they yeah. use those formats. Who would be the audience for this media product? I think definitely younger people, but I don't know what, like, would be classified as younger people, possibly like below 35, maybe even younger. I'd say about like 16 to like late 20s. Yeah. They have like the income if they work for to buy a magazine like this, like weekly or monthly if it's a monthly magazine. Um, and from the images, it looks like a sort of young person's. And with the, the debut um, thing where um, upcoming artists get to go um, and do a competition with producers and stuff like that so yeah because it was new yeah. music it would probably be people that were interested in newer music rather than obviously like older uh classical music or like 60s music or whatever it'd be more like stuff that's coming out now i guess which would probably appeal to people that were a bit younger i also think that because it has the debut yourself section and it's about upcoming artists it will be suited to those who are trying to get into the music business yeah. or trying to like help those who are in the new music business, like managers and stuff as yeah. well. Yeah, that's a point actually. It could be like for people that are trying to support new artists. Yeah. Yeah, I mean obviously it's gonna be people that are interested in music, but I think it would be people that are interested in a certain type of music rather than just music as a whole. How should I attract my audience? I think because it's quite like, I don't know, indie, like, because it's a little bit niche because it's newer stuff, possibly like conventional big scale advertising might not be right for it, like TV ads or billboards or stuff. Maybe like TV ads on certain channels, like, I don't know, MTV or something, rather than like broad broadcasting. I would say like, um, sort of sublimary advertising so like in the back of other magazines maybe yeah. that are the same type or newspaper like magazine they're like oh this is about new upcoming artists read this so yeah. and yeah. I, I I'm thinking that because it's music based it should be maybe advertised on the radio because you're going to get your target audience mm. that are going to be listening to certain radio channels that will 
pick up on the advertising and want to have an investigation. Not radio for a classical <laughs> No. And then obviously there's the like social media aspect because the Spotify things on it. So obviously you could advertise on Spotify with like linking to people that you've reviewed or that you've talked about. So sort of like if you like this music, try reading your magazine and things like that. Mm. And like Facebook and Twitter and stuff because you could aim it straight at the people that would hopefully want to read it rather than just widely Everyone. advertising. Compared to my preliminary, how did I do? I like your new one because I feel like it's more focused yeah. onto a market, whereas the preliminary, can't say that word, is more as a like wide it's range, wider, more mainstream. Yeah. It's, sort of, it's trying to be a little bit of everything, which means everything gets covered a little bit rather than anything being covered properly in detail. Like with the c contents page, the new one has quite a lot of detail for each bit, like the title and then what it actually is. Whereas the contents page on this one sort of just has the title and that obviously the title gives you a little bit, but it could also still be about anything. So the little bits of detail on the set list, I like that. However, in the previous one, I like the fact that you've got some featured articles, yeah. so that they're going to be the main ones you want to read. Yeah, that could be good to add that in. I like the. Oh, you go. No, no. I like the handles, the Facebook and Twitter handles on this one because it's sort of it's an easy way of advertising. I think people would possibly look at that first, like even if they didn't pick up the magazine, they might see that on a shelf or something and go into that and then if they liked the Twitter or the Facebook they might rethink about getting the magazine. Yeah. A lot of magazines have that on the like inside page yeah. where the contents is just to make it so like it might look neater than having it on the front and like on the like the first page. Or or even on the back if you don't yeah. want it on the front. Because the back people sometimes look at the back to see what else yeah. the magazine's gonna like come up. Yeah. I like the idea of the free token thing as well that's quite cool that would draw yeah. people in definitely but then obviously there's the risk of would people pick it up just for that and then not actually read the magazine and just get the freebie i like the fact that this one the the image here has like no background it's quite plain background um it so focuses you yeah focus you, you can more. read the yeah you can definitely read it better better yeah